Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about creating a RAM disk with a software called I'm Disk Toolkit. There's a lot of other different softwares that allow you to create RAM disks, but I have had the best experience with this one here. There is a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version, so this does also work on some of those older computers as well and servers. And let's go ahead and get this here set up and downloaded. Alright, now that I've showed you the website where you can go ahead and download the RAM disk software, I will have the link in the description here. We need to go ahead and get that installed. Just as a heads up, RAM disks do require a minimal of 110 gigabytes. So what I normally do is I go a couple over, just because some of the plots may actually be slightly bigger or smaller, and I don't want any resource errors. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and double click the downloaded file open it and then double click install and this here is going to extract and it does ask for user account control but that is okay because it is modifying the actual system itself to create the ram disk on all the components and options you guys can just go ahead and let that be here and for the installation folder i know some people have separate drives where they download apps to so just go ahead and pick wherever you want and hit install this is a very quick installation process here. So as you see, I have had several different icons pop up on the desktop here. So this is for this portion right here. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna show you my drives right now. So I have my C drive, I have my plotter, I have my USB stick, the ROM drive, and the actual drive that I'm doing plots with and getting those stored. So We'll go ahead and take a look at task manager here now so as you see i have 128 gigs of ram which exceeds what you need for the ram disk and i normally like i said go a little bit more than 110 just because the plot sizes do vary a little bit and i don't want it to error out so what we're going to do is we're going to open the ram disk configuration and it does ask for user account control again go ahead and allow that and we're just going to fill in this basic page here. So we're going to go ahead and do gigabytes. And I'm going to go ahead and say since it's 110 on this system, I'll just go 114. And that's going to give me enough room to have some available once the operating system and the RAM disk is included. So you don't error out with any issues there. And I'm going to go ahead and assign this here to the A drive. And let me go ahead and pull up right here. And we'll have that right there. So we do want to make sure that the file system is NTFS. Once that's done, go ahead and press OK here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do close. And now it's mounting the RAM disk. So as you see, you have the A drive populating here now. And as you see, my RAM usage is going up because it's gonna be created. When it's done, I believe there'll be maybe 118 taken up. So we'll just take a look here. So it should be done being created in just a moment here. All right, there we go. And this here pops up showing you that it has been configured here. So as you see, the total size is 113, which is enough. Now that this here has been done, this is where we can go ahead and edit in the Mad Max script. So let me go ahead and close out of here. This one you do want to go ahead and keep open, however. And I'm going to go to my test area. So we'll go to the C drive. And then test Mad Max. You guys can open wherever yours is though. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit right here, the script. So right here for the temp disk, the RAM one does have to be dash two. So what you can go ahead and do here is you would put down the drive letter you assigned. So in my case, it's already correct. It's the A1. Once that's been done though, you just need to make sure that your first disk, which is going to be the M.2, that that is configured there. Once you're done, just go ahead and hit File, Save, 
and then when you go ahead and launch the script it's going to go ahead and start plotting and depending on how much RAM you have and what size you pick for the RAM disk you may have to troubleshoot the RAM disk size just a little bit but it should then start plotting